then there'll be a gap, then we'll get the Super Sports on pole position. A brilliant race. He led the race for no more than 300 yards yesterday, but it was a 300 yard which includes the chequered flag. Uh, number 110, Henry Heaton, uh, will start therefore from the pole position of the Super Sports. Alongside him, number 193, Mike Evans. So Henry Heaton and Mike Evans starting at the front for the Super Sports. Uh, second row of the Super Sports is number 178, Chris Hutchinson, and number 20, Dan Gore. Third row of the Super Sports, 104, Richard Nordhoff, and 42, Alistair Weaver. Fourth row, number 115, David Yates, and number 2, Christian Sharuta. Fifth row, number 80, Rob Brown, and number 67, Gavin Crawford. Seven, sixth row, 19, Douglas Christie, and 12, Andy Witten. Next row back, the eighth row, Adam Croft, 59, and Steve Evans. Uh, we have to look to the... Oh, no, we've still got a bit of time yet. Adam Croft and Steve Evans, then. Next row back, Rob Clay, number 166, and Martin Pratt, number 52. Next row back is Jürgen Victor, Victor Rink, and number 70, Mark Davis. Behind him, number 168, Tony Stevens, and 103, Ciro Pavese. Behind him, Roy Gray, number 26, and 144, Tim Dickens. Look at Tim Dickens making out places from the back of the grid. And right at the back, number 62, will be Ben Tuck. Those two, so Timmy Dickens and Ben Tuck are the ones to watch to, to make up some ground from the back of the grid. All of the cars are pretty much in place, ready to go. Now, we're going to have 49, 50 cars, I think 49 cars, uh, taking the start of this race. It's going to be half an hour of frantic catering racing activity. The red lights are on. It's Andre Sinclair on pole position. Danny Wick standing on the outside of the front row of the grid. Very good start from the front before. Then there's a little bit of a gap and then all kinds of uh, cars, four abreast, five abreast, as they head down uh, towards La Source for the first time. They turn through La Source. There's a bit of contact in the middle of the pack there. But uh, I think they just about all managed to get it going again. There was brakes locking up. There was a bit of contact. Uh, I can't actually see any nose cones or uh, wheel um, mudguards uh, having got dislodged either, which is always a good sign. Down the hill from La Source into the uh, very fast the Remy Radio Oru Radio complex. Um, the flatbed trailer disappointingly goes away for the form of the train took up somebody, but they have walked safely through. Uh, and despite various lockups and what have you, um, an, an amazing bit of driving by all of them. Of course, the, the, the benefit of this is that the pinnacle of the Caterham Academy, the Super Sports and the 410Rs, is you do get the best drivers up there. Very often they do provide uh, the best racing as well. So Andre Sinclair, front pole position, led at the top of the Camel Strait for the first time. John Byrne made it up into second place, ahead of Danny Wynn Stanley, who's back in fourth, with Lee Wiggins to the second row of the grid. Both cars on the second row of the grid, managing to get themselves ahead of Danny Wynn Stanley. Stephen Nuttall fifth, Jack Sales in sixth place. Jack Sales was disappointed yesterday to only finish in eighth place, having started yesterday's race from the front row of the grid. Um, so Jack Sales will be looking to improve his position and we'll look as well to how good progress can be made by Timothy Dickens but he's already ahead, he's up into 43rd place so Timothy Dickens uh, already making a great start from uh, the back row of the grid and the other one from the back row of the grid for the Super Sports number 62 Ben Tuck has even done even faster than him so um, I think we can look for Ben Tuck and Tim Dickens making further progress over the course of the half hour and uh, as if to uh, greet these uh, fantastic caterers, the sun comes out uh, uh, fully as well now. So uh, safely through the first half of the, the lap, we're coming around the second half of the lap now, looking down towards Blanchimont beyond the chicane. I can see uh, the cars, or will be able to see the cars any moment now, coming into sight, and we'll be able to see whether Danny Winstand is able to improve his position or not. Uh, started from the front row of the grid. I reckon it's Andre Sinclair, actually, though, who's... Uh, no, it's John Byrne in the black car that's got himself up to the front as they turn into the chicane then for the first time, opening up a bit of a gap, would I dare I say, as they turn through there. So great lap from John Byrne. Very rapid indeed. He's going through there. So Byrne who leads the way. Danny Winstand is in second place. Then Stephen Nuttall, Lee Wiggins is the one who loses out. Uh, having been up in third, he's out of fourth place. Jack Sale's still fifth. Andre Sinclair from pole position all the way down to sixth place when they completed the first lap. So uh, he lost out rather much in the second sector, the middle sector of the lap. So Andre Sinclair uh, back to sixth place. Anthony Barnes seventh. 
Justin Armstrong, 8th. Luke Stevens, 9th. Richard Eyne, 8th. Let's go in 10th place. Look back to where we've got the Super Sports, and it's Christian Charuta leading the way for the Super Sports. Uh, Henry Heaton in 2nd place. Um, and Mike Evans, also on the front row of the Super Sports grid, in 3rd place at the moment. Uh, and Ben Sunk is... Tenth place, so great first lap from Ben Tuck. He's tenth place in Super Sports, and Tim Dickens is twelfth in Super Sports. So uh, from the back of the grid, a uh, very good start indeed from both Ben Tuck and Tim Dickens. Of course, trouble is when you're making up ground through the field, is that sometimes you can't do so cleanly and you end up uh, losing out. But uh, thus far, for Tuck and Dickens, seems to be working out very nicely indeed. Thank you. Leaders down at down at up at Lake and Danny Winstan is taken over the lead. John Byrne uh, wasn't getting away at all. He looked like he might be threatening to get away. The faster 410 for 20 Rs, um, although they uh, are that bit more powerful because they are more powerful, they punch a bigger hole in the air, and therefore it's easier to slip through because the uh, cars um, create that bigger hole and. Uh, it's easier to get sucked along by the car in front. So Danny Wynn Stanley, although he lost a bit of ground to John Byrne on the first lap, was able to close up again and now leads the race as they turn through Fang, the right left almost chicane, and then down to Cantus and the pillar Paul Frere curve. So Wynn Stanley ahead of Byrne, Lee Wiggins and Nuttall, the next two up, and Jack Sales right behind Stephen Nuttall. Jack Sales looking to uh, make up positions as well as they come back into view it's uh, Danny Winstanley on the inside and three abreast they are as they come into the braking area for the chicane for the second time and they have to sort themselves out nose to tail as they turn right and then left again out of the chicane across the start finish line completing the lap Danny Winstanley leading the way John Byrne in second place in third is the other green car just uh, running there from Lee Wiggins he has got himself uh, up and Stephen Nuttall is the one who's lost out on that lap because he's on all the way down to fifth place Jack Sales is up to fourth and Ray Sinclair in sixth place Anthony Barnes seventh Jack Brown's improved the position as well he's up to eighth place ahead of Luke Stevens uh, who's back to ninth Richard Ainsco is still tenth Justin Armstrong eleventh Damian Milkins in twelfth place waiting for there they go now across the lines Chris, Chris Kinshabuta back to the lead Mike Evans had the lead Henry Heaton now being put back to third place in the Super Sports class so Charuta Evans Eaton are the top three in Super Sports. Sixth place for Ben Tuck. Uh, so he's got you know, great guns there is Ben Tuck. So he's up to sixth place in the class. Eleventh place for Tim Dickens. So the leading three in the championship as they came into the round this weekend. Tim Dickens, Mike Evans, Ben Tuck. Um, and Mike Evans, the only one not to have a problem in yesterday's race. Uh, he's currently running in second place. Ben Tuck, though, making good ground from the back of the grid. And Tim Dickens, who started the weekend in the lead of the championship, having not finished in the first round, uh, has made ground, but not as good ground as Ben Tuck has made, to be fair. So... That's the positions as far as the super sports are concerned. Meanwhile, looking back to the lead of the race at the 420 Rs, Danny Wynn Stanley up at the front of the field, but Jack Sales has now moved up into second place and he's making good progress as well. So, Jack Sales, he was uh, second place on the grid for yesterday's race, but then uh, had a disappointing race, especially as the rain came down. Uh, well, no, it wasn't raining at the beginning of the, at the end of the race, was it? It was damp at the beginning of the race, but it then dried out through the race yesterday. Jack Sales only managed to finish in 8th place yesterday, but uh, the cars turned through uh, the campus Paul Frere curve, and there's another change because John Byrne now moves to the head of the field, ahead of Danny Winstanley and ahead of Jack Sales. So John Byrne leads, Danny Winstanley second, see what Nuttall is still there in 4th place, and here they come into view. 
right, right, and then onto the brakes. Standing with Sandy on the inside line, then moves across into the middle of the road. That's just where everybody else needs to be. Right round the outside comes Jack Sales, I think that is. Uh, no, is it John Byrne? I think it's John Byrne. I think it's fine. So John Byrne comes across the line. This is the completion of lap three. And so John Byrne leads with Sandy in second place. Then a bit of a gap. Then is Jack Sales through in third place. Lee Wiggins moves up to fourth. Stephen Buffer is fifth. And Andre Sinclair, from pole position, remember, uh, back to sixth place. They go into La Source, nose to tail, run wide on the exit to the corner, take more than the bits of the curve, take all of the curve, all four wheels on the curve. And Danny Winstanley moves to the inside line as they head down to Eau Rouge, tantalising the are We're going to see that on the closed circuit TV. Wait and see, wait for it to change. So we're already through Eau Rouge by now and heading back up the hill into Radion and onto the very, very fast Kettle Street. So important, of course, to get a fast exit through Radion in order to go uh, get the maximum speed down the Kettle Street. And then at the end of the Kettle Street, we get the uh, split, and that will tell us whether or not Danny Wynn Stanley has managed to take the lead of the race or not. We only have 10 minutes of this race, and it's uh, already had more changes of lead than. Um, will be in Spain later on today. Danny, I didn't say that. Danny Winstanley, it is back to the lead though. So uh, the timing screen tells us the order as they cross the line at the top of the Kendall Strait. And Danny Winstanley then in the lead from John Byrne, but only by four thousandths of a second. So that makes, basically means they were side by side as they hit the end of the Kendall Strait and went into the right, left, right of Le Coon. Stephen Nuttall recovering and he's back to fourth place, uh, back to third place in fact. Jack Sales, remember he was second, uh, has got elbowed all the way back down to fifth place. The gap, if there is one, is really between sixth and seventh place. Andre Sinclair to Luke Stevens, that's 0.7 of a second. And then behind Anthony Barnes in eighth place, another bit of a gap to Richard Ainsley, but. As I was mentioning earlier on, we do get this huge amount of slipstream created by the more powerful capons, uh, and they it's uh, much easier to pack up because technically the more powerful car comes with a bigger hole in the air that enables slipstream to be able to have its impact that much more effectively. So um, that's the uh, marvellous thing about capon racing, and then of course uh, you then get the uh, kind of trying to work out exactly how to win the race by using strategy and not going to the lead too early because then all you're doing is you're punching holding the air for somebody else to take advantage of. But we're still 20 minutes of this race remaining. It's all about trying to establish itself at the front and here come the leaders through the final right hander onto the brakes for the chicane. This time to complete four laps. And it's Danny with Stanley, John Byrne first and second. Is that still not all in third place? I didn't see the kids across the line they come. Uh, it is indeed Stephen Nuttall in third place. In fourth place is Lee Wiggins, Jack Sales fifth, and Ray Sinclair sixth. That's no change in order um, as they came through at the completion of the lap. So it was the same down at Counters as it was at the end of the lap. William Smith moves ahead of Justin Armstrong. Uh, Matt Dyer loses out a little bit. As far as the super sports are concerned, we'll wait for those uh, coming up into view now. It was Mike Evans in the lead of the super sports. Uh, he was uh, a rather quiet race a bit earlier. Here they come now, just looking down towards the chicane. It's um, a massive battle to keep the super sports. Uh, they're all trying to uh, line up to take the chicane together. Uh, and it's been very clean racing as well thus far. Famous last words. Cross the line, they come trying to break the line to break the toe. It is Mike Evans. He's leading the way. Then Henry Heaton goes through in third place because Christian Sharuta has managed to get through ahead of him. So Sharuta second, Henry Heaton third, Chris Hutchinson in fourth, then tuck up into fifth place in the Super Sports class and then Dangor in sixth. And Tim Dickens, meanwhile, in tenth place in the Super Sports class, just behind Alistair Weaver at the moment. Fastest lap so far uh, has been set by Luke Stevens, car number five. He's done two minutes 39.836. That wasn't on his last lap, there was a previous lap uh, that Luke Stevens did that. So he's the fastest lap uh, so far. In fact, that is so far the fastest lap that we've seen uh, this weekend. Uh, the 420 hours quicker than the La Mera Cup cars. So uh, the fastest lap all together that we've seen thus far. Yesterday was set by Matt Dyer at 2 minutes 41. Well, we're second and a half under that. 2 minutes 39 today. 
So uh, very fast indeed from uh, Luke Stevens down to the campus for Paul Frere. Danny Winstanley retakes the lead. We're not halfway through this race yet. Yesterday we managed to get nine laps completed. Uh, there was some safety car yesterday though, so uh, we'll be able to get, um, I would think, 11 laps and possibly even 12 if we can run cleanly for this one. Um, keep our fingers crossed for that. We're not yet halfway through the race. They're on their fifth lap. Danny Winstanley is leading the way. They're into sight at the chicane. Danny Winstanley is not leading the way. It's John Byrne that leads the way. John Byrne, then, as they come across the line to complete five laps, takes the line, takes Danny Winstanley with him. He's right underneath the boot lid um, as he comes through. Moves to the outside when they get to La Source. He'll try and take a later apex and then faster down the straight and therefore either be able to get through at the O Rouge or when they go up the hill afterwards. That's uh, clever driving from Danny Winstanley. He has to build these overtaking moves from a little way back. And then when you work out how you're going to make the overtaking move, you then have to make it stick. Or you need to make it work out how you can make it stick through the chicane just to get across the line and take the checkered flag across the start and finish, which is exactly what Henry Heaton did yesterday. Although Henry at the moment only buying fifth in the Super Sports class. We'll see where he is when they come across the line. Still waiting for the Super Sports. Here they come now, coming into the braking area for the chicane themselves. The 420Rs, meanwhile, uh, heading up towards the Coombe. Here come the Super Sports. They're spreading out, fanning out. Three abreast as they come into the chicane. But again, it's clean. Marvellous driving from these Caper drivers as they manage to get through there. Again, without any contact, but just a hair's breadth between them. And it's still Mike Evans leading the way, though. From Sharuta in second place. No, it's not. It's hit. Chris Hutchinson up in the second place now. Sharuta back to third. Dan Gore is fourth. Henry Eaton back to fifth. Uh, Alistair Weaver in sixth place. And Ben Tuck losing ground now. He's back to seventh. Tim Dickens is up to eighth. So uh, Ben Tuck and Tim Dickens, the two that came from the back of the grid, currently running in seventh and eighth places. David Yates in ninth, Richard Northworth <laughs> in the place he made his own yesterday. He was running tenth most in yesterday's race, but then uh, sorted himself out and ended up finishing the race in fifth place. Um, having been tenth for most of it. Um, so we're halfway through. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Uh, five laps completed. They're on their six. John Bird leads the way by five hundredths of a second, no more than that. Stephen Mottle is two hundredths of a second behind him. And a tenth of a second behind the leader is Andre Sinclair in number 93, out on the far side of the circuit. Through campus, through the curve of Paul Frere, moving journalist at the one winner in his time. And uh, a boyhead of... Uh, the Belgian and French motoring scene. I uh, have a warning flag being given for a car that I can't tell the number of because you'll learn scratching for me. Um, still down something in the way. So anyway, driver warning flag being displayed. Uh, most likely the track actually, because as I say, we haven't had any contact that I've uh, seen, although it was pretty hairy going into the first quarter on the first lap. Um, and it's still John Byrne leading the way from then. Danny Winstanley. This is interesting because Danny Winstanley leads most of the lap. But John Byrne seems able to lead across the line. Now that's significant because at the end of the race, of course, that's when you need to be in position. Stephen Muttall is third. Lee Wiggins is fourth. Andre Sinclair is fifth. And Jack Sales is sixth. That's the positions as they completed the lap. Uh, it'll be different again by the time it goes round. There's somebody who's come to grief up at La Source. Now, was that John Byrne? I don't know. It was a black car. Uh, we'll see what uh, the positions are when they get up to the top of the camera straight. They get an indication on the screen, but there was a black car that I caught on the closed circuit TV stopped at the exit of La Source, coming down the hill past the endurance racing pits, and I think he's got going again. Uh, but John Bird safely through. Uh, he's the one who's lost ground, if any of them. Possibly Luke Stevens, I don't know. So Luke Stevens was the fastest. Um, I can't work out who that might have been then, uh, if it wasn't Luke Stevens. So, uh, yeah, no, I think it was Luke Stevens, in fact, because he is going backwards, isn't he? Uh, Luke Stevens, number five. Fastest lap of the race, but now not being able to improve. Meanwhile, the Super Sports gaggle goes past my commentary box. 178, Chris Hutchinson leading the way. Then it's Mike Evans. And then up to third place, he takes Tim Dickens with him. 
So third and fourth now, Ben Tuck and Tim Dickens. Fifth in Charuta in fifth, Henry Heat in sixth. So uh, everything to play for still in the Super Sports class. And uh, sadly, uh, it does seem that uh, Luke Stevens, uh, he did complete the lap, but now he hasn't gone on to head up the hill towards the uh, Kemper Strait. I and mean, he's probably pulled off into the pit lane. Bad luck for Luke. Leaders, meanwhile, on their seventh lap with Danny Winstanley and John Byrne still embroiled in this battle for the lead of the race. Looking out towards the exit to Blanchimont to see who's going to come into view first of all. and in the 420R class. So right into the chicane, side by side. Danny Winstanley tries to go around their outside, but he's brought Jack Red again himself ahead as they cross the start finish line. So Danny Winstanley, it is leading the way. John Thor, John Byrne in second place. Stephen Nuttall goes through third. In fourth place, Andrew Sinclair. And then Lee Wiggins, Anthony Barnes, the next two. Richard, Will, Richard Ainsco and Will Smith go through after that. Jack Sales. But he was having the lead earlier on, also in second place. Now he's dropped all the way back to ninth place uh, with more battling to do. Luke Stevens hasn't come round again, so uh, sadly I think he did go down into the pit lane, having exited La Source very slowly indeed. There's the battle for the lead of the Super Sports, waiting for that to come into sight now at the but ahead of, ahead of myself, aren't they? Because the Super Sports are still down at uh, campus. The leaders having gone through already at the front of the field. Ten minutes to remain. We're on the eighth lap. And Danny Winstanley and John Byrne have both been overtaken. They must have had a coming together. Or, uh, they lost both of them, lost some ground in the first sector, and that's allowed Stephen Nuttall and Anthony Barnes to into the lead of the race. Here comes the Super Sports battle into the chicane now. Let's look at what's happening in Super Sports. Henry Heaton has got himself back into the front. Um, you really can. You can make six places in the space of one corner with a little bit of six training. What's the line they come? Uh, as in, and it's not Henry Heaton, is it? It's uh, Ben Tuck. Ben Tuck, Ben from the back of the grid, leads the race across the line. Seven laps completed, ten to go now. What we can be sure is that Ben Tuck isn't going to be able to lead the race for the uh, rest of the race because he's going to be overtaken at some point. But Ben Tuck, Ben, through in the lead at the moment from Henry Heaton second, Dan Gore third, Christian Sharuta fourth. Tim Dickens fifth, Mike Evans in sixth place. So nine minutes remain. They're on the eighth lap. I think we should get certainly get eleven, possibly twelve laps out of this. So there's still plenty of entertainment yet left to go. Looking out towards Blanchimont to see where the leaders are. There is a slower car, but there's two slower cars up ahead of them now. They are going to get absolutely swamped as they come into the chicane this time, and hopefully they're all going to keep their wits about them, and we're going to be able to uh, get safely through. In fact, the two slower cars. Uh, with the blue flags there. They keep to the middle of the track as the uh, leaders come past either side. Anthony Barnes going round on the uh, left-hand side, uh, which could be the outside when they get to the source. Uh, Danny Winstanley and John Byrne, having had that problem at the beginning of the lap, much slower first sector, fast through the second part of the lap, come through back in the lead. So Anthony Barnes, Stephen Muttle were leading halfway round the lap, but they're now back to uh, fourth and fifth. And uh, who was it? I think it was uh, Gary Weatherill and John Whitehouse who uh, were going through the slower cars there. But uh, they kept out of the way just, uh, and we managed to get away with it uh, throughout the rest of the... No, I'm not sure who they were actually, who they were uh, taking. They managed to get past anyway. So Danny Winstanley, John Burns, Anthony Barnes, Stephen Nuttall, the top four. Andre Sinclair just behind was just behind in fourth place, but he's now uh, managed to get himself ahead of Lee Wiggins. So Sinclair is fourth. Stephen Nuttall will go back to sixth place. He was in the lead of the race half this time last lap. Um, 
waiting for the super sports to come into view. Where are they now? Uh, we've got seven minutes of the race remaining. Super sports were being led by Ben Tuck. Henry Heaton with second angle was third. Here they come now into the braking area. And they look like they, oh no, I was going to say they separated themselves out a little bit, but they they fan out as they head into the braking area for the, for the chicane. Uh, it was four abreast. It's unbelievable racing from these Cajun guys as they come out of the chicane. They're coming up now to cross the line. Who's going to be across the line first on this one? There's five cars separated by three lengths. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's hard to describe because they're just so close together. Mike Evans is well, just ahead of them. Henry Heaton second, Dan Gore third, Chris Hutchinson fourth, Ben Tuck. First, Tim Dickens in sixth place and they crossed the line absolutely together. Nothing separating them at all as they went through. Still the fastest lap of the race by Luke Stevens, not having been bettered and Luke now not playing no further part in the race, but uh, we'll find Luke Stevens then. Uh, his 2 minutes 39, 83, 60, beginning to slow themselves down actually as they uh, get involved in these uh, monster slip screaming battles and it doesn't really matter a bit because what you tend to do is you want to not be at the front as the race gets towards its closing stages. Uh, three laps to go I reckon, uh, five minutes to go, they'll get the, they won't get the five minute ball this time, I guess they are going to the five minute ball this time. Danny Wynn Stanley leading the way, but Andre Sinclair is now getting involved in the battle for the lead. It's been one of those cycle races, isn't it, where uh, it's all about not being in the lead, but uh, Andre Sinclair is well involved in that little battle through La Source, down the hill once again towards the Rouge section, Rouge and Radion, and the top three have pulled away. Andre Sinclair has opened up a bit of a gap between himself and Stephen Nuttall. Jack Sales, Lee Wiggins in the next little group. So, uh, battle between three and then the rest. And uh, I wouldn't quite say quite how many are involved in the rest, but uh, certainly six cars going back down to the bottom of the top ten. Uh, Damien Milkins in ninth place, Richard Aitsko in tenth. Up to Leku on the tenth lap. This lap plus another still to go and Andre Sinclair is in the lead as they turn through Le Coon. Then it's Danny Wynn Stanley, John Byrne, Jack Sales in second, third and fourth places. Fifth Will Smith, sixth Stephen Nuttall. And uh, around the Marshall before something was happening but I think they're just uh, uh, discussing the racing between one another. So wait for the Super Sports battle to come into sight. That'll be next to see as it comes now into the uh, fast right-hander which immediately precedes the chicane. Christian Sharuta, Tim Dickens, Henry Heaton it was last time through. Uh, and I think Christian Sharuta is back there up at the front of them this time. But uh, third, anyone from that top group of 16 as they come through. Uh, and it's nice, Ben Tuck back to the lead again. Christian Sharuta being elbowed back to fourth. As, uh, so Ben Tuck, Henry Heaton in second, Tim Dickens in third, Sharuta fourth, Chris Hutchinson in fifth, Mike Evans in sixth. So the uh, cars from the back of the grid, currently in first and third places. Henry Heaton, who started the race from pole position, I was always quite a start in this race from pole position when I've got two guys from the back of the group battling with me. Uh, and Sharuta, who had a good race yesterday as well, um, was unfortunate to get bundled back a little bit uh, towards the end of the race and finished only in eighth place, but he was right up at the front uh, for most of the race yesterday, Christian Sharuta, uh, and he's in fourth place. Here they come across the line, uh, side by side between John Byrne and Andre Sinclair, David Wynn Stanley, Danny Wynn Stanley. Now, are they going to get another lap in? I reckon they are, you know. Uh, so that is not the last lap. They are being shown the last lap forward. So maybe this is the last lap. If it does, then it will finish marginally before the 30 minutes. We're on the 11th lap, but I reckon that the race time is getting confused. This is the race lap, the last lap, and they do show the checkered flag. Uh, then the race time will be marginally under the 30 minutes of the schedule to run. Yes, these race ran to 30 minutes and 16 seconds. Um, but 
there was a nine lap race that we had safety car, uh, we had two safety cars during yesterday's race. This race has been cleaned throughout, but the last lap forward is being shown. See what the uh, race time is and have to keep an eye in all directions to see if this uh, does turn into being the checkered flag lap. The Super Sports are making their way down out of Puha, down towards Fang at the moment. And then we'll see them coming through. The uh, gap between the 420Rs and the Super Sports is probably larger than the gap between the 270 and the 310s. As the Super Sports now through the curve of Paul Frere, making their way back up towards Blanchimont and we'll see who it's going to be. Tim Dickens was being shown as in the lead of the class down at campus on this lap. Here comes the Super Sports battle then. It's a huge group of uh, 10 cars separated by nothing at all. Side by side, three abreast they are as they come into the braking area for the chicane. Turn right, quick squeeze of the throttle, back on the brakes, turn left again, and then cross the line. The all not being shown the last lap, so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, across the line, it's 193, Mike Evans back to the lead uh, of the class. And so Mike Evans ahead of Henry Heaton in second, Tim Dickens third, where's Ben Tuck? Uh, just gone through now, in fact, he's gone back to seventh place in the class. So uh, Ben Tuck there, getting himself a little bit down fumbled, I fancy, um, going through in seventh place. Uh, Evans, Heaton, Dickens, Hutchinson, Sarita, Gore, Tuck, yeah. Uh, so seventh place for Tuck, eighth place for Richard Nordhoff, ninth for Anthony Weaver, and tenth for David Gates. Leaders do go through again another lap, so it is the last lap now. So uh, that was, with seven seconds to go, uh, we're practically going to get uh, the uh, the gap between the Super Sports and the 420Rs, and they're going to be right on top of each other. This is going to be a nightmare because the uh, the 420Rs are going to get 12 laps, and the Super Sports are only going to get 11 laps, and they're going to be absolutely together on this final lap. Um, because uh, such is the pace, the fastest lap 2.39 uh, by Luke Stevens, the pace at the moment 2.40s for the uh, fastest of the 4.20 yards, the Super Sport is lapping in the 2.50s, so there's 15 seconds practically between the uh, 4.20 yards and the Super Sports, and that 15 seconds is going to uh, mean that we get the lead group for the Super Sports being lapped by the lead group for the 420 hours on this last lap as out at the uh, that's at the chicane just in front of me here goes uh, either number six or number eight uh, I can't quite uh, pick out the number there um, but we'll sort that one out in a minute uh, but, uh, so that car out of the race, whether it's going to mean yellow flags at the chicane, I think it probably will mean yellow flags at the chicane, and that's going to be very, very unfortunate because it's going to spoil the last lap dash to the flag. I don't know if these guys are on the radio, but if uh, you do have radio contact to your driver, you need to be telling him not to try and leave anything until the last minute because you're going to get a yellow flag at the chicane on the last lap. Because, um, as I was saying, not quite what you uh, want to get. So uh, the race leaders on the far side of the circuit, through Fang, down to the last part of the lap. And here come the, this is the battle grip. They're not quite going to make it, are they? Because here are the super sports now coming up to uh, go onto their last lap. They're going to get one more lap for the super sports. Across the line they go. and. The leader of the Super Sports is now Chris Hutchinson, Ben Tuck second, Christian Sherry to third, they go to their last lap, and where are the 420 R's? Here they come now, into the braking area, for the came for the last time, checkered flag is out the ready, it's going to be Deadwood Stanley, I think he's going to take the checkered flag, five feet of strategic driving from Ben, he takes the checkered flag and says Deadwood Stanley, both hands off the steering wheel as he celebrates the win, fantastic racing from the case of 420 R's, and Deadwood Stanley, Danny Wynn Stanley then wins the race from John Byrne in second place. Andre Sinclair finishing third. Jack Sales coming through 
in fourth place, Stephen Nuttall fifth, William Smith in sixth place, Anthony Barn seventh, Lee Wiggins eighth, Richard Ainscoe ninth, and Damien Wilkins rounding out the top ten. But uh, a great battle there, and Danny wins Sandy then managing to get through at the chequered flag and uh, winning the race by 0 0.107 of a second marginally less than yesterday's winning margin uh, in which Danny Winstanley lost to Andre Sinclair. So Sinclair uh, a win and a third, Danny Winstanley a second and a first, uh, and John Byrne finishing up with a second and a third. So uh, turn them as you will amongst yourselves. And uh, that would all mean that as far as championship are concerned, uh, for Lee Wiggins loses out. Uh, Danny Wynn Stanley will almost certainly take over as a championship leader, but will leave the uh, good officers of the Caterham Motorsport team to work out championship positions and the next round of this championship at the Brands Hatch Indy Circuit. Now, still something to resolve because we still have the Super Sports cars on their final lap of the race. They will get 12 laps as well. And so they'll get, uh, as I said, they're managing to get that extra lap in, and even so, they were, they were a little bit quicker than they needed to be, thank goodness, because they didn't quite get the uh, overlap that I feared. And so waiting for the Super Sports then to make their way around. Ben Tuck, remember, started from the back of the grid. Tim, Tim Dickens started from the very back of the grid. Uh, Henry Heaton started on pole position. He shared that front row with Mike Evans, uh, and it was Henry Heaton and Mike Evans, actually, who were in the lead of the race down at the curve of Paul Frere. Here comes that leading battle now, and it looks like Mike has got a bit of a march up at the front. And uh, sure that might be Mike Evans. We'll uh, see who comes through now. The checkered flag being waved, but uh, the, the Super Sports then separating themselves out quite nicely with yellow flags still being shown at the chicane. That's why, you see. Uh, and so Mike Evans comes through and takes the checkered flag, but up in the second place, Ben Tuck at the end makes an improvement. So uh, Mike Evans, the winner. Ben Tuck, though, finishing in second place. Christian Sharuta in third, then Richard Nordhove, another great last lap, he did this yesterday as well. Um, and so Nordhove finishing in fourth place, Henry Heaton, I suspect probably a little bit disappointed to uh, get bundled down to fifth place uh, at the check it flag. Sixth was Tim Dickens, seventh Chris Hutchinson, in eighth place Alistair Weaver, ninth David Yates, and tenth Dan Gore. So those are the results for the Super Sports class. Just a reminder, overall, it was Danny Witt Stanley that uh, won from John Byrne in second place by just 0.107 of a second. Andre Sinclair, number 93, was third. Jack Sales, number 35, was fourth. Stephen Nuttall, number 46, was fifth. William Smith, sixth. Anthony Barnes in seventh place. Lee Wiggins in eighth. Richard Ainsco in ninth and Damien Milkins tenth. That was the results of the 420R section and overall, of course. But the Super Sports left their bit till last, and uh, that turned into a win for Mike Evans, and that will help his championship positions with Ben Tuck not having scored anything in yesterday's race, but getting a good score for second place in today's race. Right.